And last, before we take a break, in March, the Hardin Bulldog Boys basketball team won their first title in more than 20 years. Now, more than a month later, the community of Hardin is still celebrating. Q2's Brandon Sullivan gives us a look at one of the Crow Nation's most time-honored traditions. This danceway was brought to us by the Hiranza, and originally it was a spiritual gifting to the Omaha, and they used it for victory and war. And as time went along, all of the Native American tribes were prohibited from warring with each other or with anybody else by treaties and other laws. And the use of this dance became more social and more non-military. They transformed this dance to give thanks for the uh, blessing of good fortune by having these dances and these giveaways and this victory dance is showcasing these champion hardened bulldogs. So we the Crows truly appreciate all of our young people, but when they accomplish something that is so unique and so outstanding such as this, we go all out to show them our appreciation. They always say that you can always own material things. You can have another horse, you can have another car, but you can never replace your loved ones. And especially the young children are the most precious gifts that we can receive from our God. And whenever they accomplish anything of great note such as this, we want to bring attention to the great good fortune that our great maker has afforded them. And then when I see young people such as the Hardin Bulldogs value the Native American culture and using the great accolades that they have accomplished to bring to the fore at a great dance like this is something that is so important that we value it and we will cherish these memories for a very long time until the day we pass. And these memories will be told on and on and on through the generations.